Okay, so we're gonna dive into the rap writing process. It's really just three simple parts, right? And this is what I was talking about. Um, well, I guess I'll connect it to my story here in a little bit, but three simple parts. So the first part is to discover your topics. So what am I gonna rap about? And this is just broad, broad jokes, right? Like, I'm gonna rap about sports. So I'm gonna rap about having fun. I'm gonna rap about my life. I'm gonna rap about um, just hanging out with friends, right? Just big, broad jokes. Um, discover your topics. Then you need to discover your message. What are you going to say about the topic, All right? And this is the part where um, beginners might have a little bit of trouble because, um, you know, if you don't believe you have something to say, we all have something to say. That's why you have a voice. Uh, but if you believe you don't, then it's hard for you to start cultivating um, your message. So I've got a process to help you do that uh, uh, today. And then lastly, it's discover your verse. So what rhythms and rhymes will I use? So here's where I made my mistake. Um, so if you know this story about me, uh, essentially, I think probably the first time I tried to write, <laughs> write a rap, I was 11. It was on a road trip, like a two hour road trip, had my notebook, had my pencil, and two hours later wrote nothing blank page and I was like okay like it seems simple enough how why can I write this rap and what I'm you know recognize now is that I was focusing on the end part which is the rhythm and the rhymes because that's what you hear and that's what you're like most captivated to I didn't have a message figured out and I didn't know like what topics I wanted to talk about so I didn't know how to begin so I'm going to show you how to begin uh today and then for those of us who've already you know again you know for me like um, I don't do all these steps now, but I do your topic, your message, and your verse are always a part of the process, right? So even if you like start doing multiple uh, steps together, um, you'll see that you, know, you really, you can't get away from that, th those three core things, right? Discover your topic, broadly speaking, when you're talking about your message, what are you trying to communicate about the topic, and then the verse, which you actually get into the rhythm and the rhymes that you're going to uh, use. That's it, that's the simple part. So now here's like kind of the step-by-step -step on how we're gonna do it. Um, so I'm gonna break it down to like how to write your first, uh, your first rap. And really, we're gonna focus today on just writing uh, four bars. And the reason I say four bars is because if you, uh, as beginners, right, I think you commit, if you're really serious about developing a rap writing practice and just your rap skills in general, commit to writing at least four bars every day. You can always do more than four bars on a day, but like at your, you know, absolute tired, like I'm not feeling it. All right, well, here's, let me just show up for consistency. You can do at least four bars. So I'm gonna show you the process that, that'll get your first four bars written. And then really you just kind of continue to develop the verse into a, our standard is 16 bars. But you know, nowadays um, the standard verses is uh, <laughs> thrown out the window. Sometimes I think there's songs that have like 12 bar verses, eight bar verses. So, um, but a four is a good place to start. So here's what we're gonna do first. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, literally list your topics. So what are the subjects that you could talk about or listen to for hours? Essentially, what are you into? And give yourself permission, right, to just um, capture everything that comes to mind. Just because you list it doesn't mean to write a rap about it. It just means that if you're into the topic and you could talk about it, that means that there's gonna be things uh, for you. You're gonna have a lot to say about it. And that makes it easier uh, to uh, get to the verse writing process. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to basically do it with you, right? Uh, so even though, again, I've been rapping some, yeah, 20-ish, 20, <laughs> some 20 years, uh, 
I still do this process every time I teach it because again, it really helps me uh, cultivate a beginner's mind to be able to stay under, see the possibilities and still find new discoveries in my own um, art of rap writing. So I'm gonna do it with you. So we're gonna take five minutes to just list the uh, uh, topics that you're into. And I will um, do it along with you. And so let's hop into it, all right? So this is at a point you should get like a, you know, separate sheet of paper or something, write it down, or if you wanna use your phone, or, um, or you can, you know, even if you want to, you can use the chat, all right? But go ahead and put down your five, uh, uh, well, excuse me, five minutes to list the topics, the things that you could talk about or listen to forever. So I'm going to go ahead and do that myself, and I'll be sharing my screen here too. All right, so there's that. Just about two and a half minutes remaining, and you're seeing my list here of just topics I could rap about. So I'm just making a list, getting big, broad ideas uh, down for it. As I, I'm doing this, I'm not filtering out, um, you know, just whatever comes to mind, I'm putting it down, knowing that I'm not committed to any one of these topics. It's just getting it out of my, my head so I can free up space to make decisions later on, problem solve later. real life on here. <laughs> Excuse my chicken scratch. Teacher life. So hopefully you're doing this too, just Anything that you could talk about, really it's just anything that's just connected to you, right? And I think that's the main idea here is that your life and your experience matter and deserve, you know, expression. You know, there's no mold that you need to fit. There's only 
remote is the one that you're creating and designing yourself. Ah, let me see. Ah, there it is. Okay, I hope you have a good list going. So you should have a list of topics and then before we go to the next step, um, I always think like after you make a list like this, uh, it's probably a good practice to just like uh, select like three that are kind of like calling you at the moment right now. Uh, so for me, um, I don't know, I'm gonna say habits just because teaching right now and I'm always thinking about people's habits um, and then let's see uh, probably I'm gonna put those together touring and traveling it's because uh, I've been cramped up a little bit and looking looking forward to get out getting out into the world and then creativity all right so those are just three areas that I might um, focus in on uh, today all right so the next step all right we actually just did it <laughs> is basically select the topic you want to talk about um, so again I just kind of did it I selected three just because I'm better for me to just kind of give me keep possibilities open as I work through this but yeah take a moment and select the topic that you want to uh, talk about circle circle it circle your top three um, you know right now I'm probably haven't quite made a decision between habits creativity and touring and traveling um, but I think the next step might uh, uh, help me do this which is this well, let me, actually, let me give you more time to do that. So we'll do a little 90 seconds there. And so think about your topics, look, review your list. I'm going to make a choice, 90 seconds, and then um, we will get, we will keep it moving forward. So you're choosing from your list which one you might want to focus on today. And you could always choose multiple things. in the building <laughs> nice so yeah I got a good list going there it's about 30 more seconds and then we'll keep it keep it moving shout out to Q-Tip for that can you grab my water bottle from out there it's like on the table teaching in class without Proper hydration, that's not good. All right, about five more seconds and we are moving on. Yes, all right. Let's see if this will do any of you. Actually, it's not for now. Here we go. All right, so step three in this process is to free write about the topic. And so if you've ever done a free write before, um, 
<laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> but if you ever uh, free write is basically where you just, you know, for a set amount of time, you just write whatever comes to mind as it relates to the topic. Um, no filter with it. And then one, once we're done with it, I'll have you underline key phrases that just, again, just anything that just really captures your attention is a key phrase at this point. Um, so the big thing to make this work is that you're going to, you're going to feel a notice like this it might be a voice. It might be a feeling. It might be a tension in your mind of just like someone else's expectation coming into this process of like what's cool to talk about, you know, and what's not cool to talk about, right? What's cool to say and what's not cool to say. Um, and for the sake of the creative process, right? You have to be able to suspend and push that, um, that voice away. Not everything you free write is gonna end up in the verse. So it's not about that. It's really just about if creativity is like a flow of water, right? Like in a faucet, water generally always comes out cold, the faucet, but then as the cold water moves out the pipes, the warm water comes through. Um, that's kind of what this is all about. It's just getting everything out so that those ideas that are actually of interest to you um, have a chance to present themselves. But uh, it's basically writing produces more writing. So being creative produces more creativity. So when you free write, you're trying to just keep producing ideas so that eventually you'll find something that captures your attention and then you can build, um, you know, build your verse off of that. So uh, five minutes with this um, and you're not writing a verse. You're not. So don't don't get into um, again for those people who write raps, you tend to I, I do it too. Like when I start free writing. I start thinking in, you know, rhyme and rhythm and metaphors and all that stuff. Um, there's no pressure to do that. So if it comes out that way, awesome. But the main thing is just your pen, your keyboard just keeps moving. Um, you don't hit backspace, right? Like you, you just want to really focus on the act of just producing and creating ideas as it relates to the topic, just to see what's there. All right. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I don't generally, I'll, I'll do like as much as I can on the, the whiteboard here set up. Um, but usually I do this in my journal and it's, you know, more space. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right. So five minutes, let's get on that. Free write about your topic and I will join you in this process. All right. So we should be on to... My handwriting looks horrible writing on the screen, but that's okay. Just demonstrating.
You might come up with questions as you do it. You just capture everything. I know it's ironic that I'm gonna write a verse about freestyling <laughs> while teaching about rap writing, but it is what it is. About two more minutes, so just keep going. Twenty more seconds, and there's my free ride on habits. I'll leave it up there. Take a look at my chicken scratch. All right, all right, all right. So the next thing is, oh, let me see if I can do a different color real quick. So just anything that just captures your attention, go ahead and um, just underline that phrase. Um, you know, if you're typing this, maybe highlight it, make it bold or something. Uh, and again, the reason we're doing this like this is that um, it allows you to, so the things that capture your attention, what's going to happen is that those will be, those will be things that you'll potentially communicate in your verse and actually knowing what you want to communicate before you get to the verse, um, makes the process simpler because now it's just, all right, how do I communicate this particular idea with this you know rhythm demand and this rhyming uh, demand but oftentimes when people just go to write a verse they are doing all that at the same time which is once you figure out like this process you can but when you're just starting out i think because you're trying to make all these decisions at once that's what uh creates just more of a block and more effort uh, into it, right? And until you understand what that effort really is, you'll interpret it as like, oh, I'm not writing well today, or I'm not good, or, right? It's like, no, what you're doing is just you're approaching it with so many steps all at once that your brain is literally putting out more effort because you're 
making three decisions at one at one time instead of just you know two or one okay so and these also becomes just like starting places right so uh phrases for me um so really what it, it started getting interesting for me when i wrote this question about what are the habits of mind in freestyling um another class i'll talk more about habits and how it relates to you know freestyling rap writing and all that um because I, I can definitely talk about it for hours <laughs> uh this idea of like okay the filler being a habit uh, so if you've ever freestyled before, we have filler phrases that we say. I think mine right now is like, um, here we go. I'm saying that a lot. All right, we do it to fill up space and I can definitely see how that can be like a habit. Um, and so I'm thinking about like the question here. Um, how does the habit loop affect uh, fillers and rhyming and even concepts? And then an the idea of like, what are the cravings? Um, so again, the, I'm not gonna dive into what the habit loop is, but um, there's a cycle to how habits work. And so that's what I would be interested in uh, communicating in uh, this first, in this moment, right? So I have a couple ideas, some places to start, some places to build from. And that is, um, you know, the goal of the free write. So now it's like you have your topic, you have, what you want to say about it, right? That's not in the verse form. So the next piece uh, to move to is this. This is where you make a list of rhymes. And so how, now this is where it gets fun because this is where like, you know, the topic, select, you know, Thinking of topics, selecting a topic, and then free writing about a topic, that's pretty linear, meaning, you know, you're gonna be writing about one thing with a central idea. But then when you get into this list making of rhymes, the rhymes will start going, uh, will take you into different directions and different areas possibly because the only relationship that these words will have uh, is the fact that they um, rhyme and they may or may not be connected to your topic so easily, so you have to find a way to make them connect. Uh, so this this is where it gets fun, right? So you make a list of rhymes. I, I like to start with like the key ideas uh, from the free write as a place to like get like a bank of words, uh, and then you generate generate a list of rhymes for each key idea. And what I'm going to do, I mean, I'll give you five minutes, and I think what's a good practice with this is to. Um, let me get to the new slide. So a good practice with this one is let's try to get, uh, let's switch it back to black. Okay, so we'll have, so try to select like four words that, um, you would want to uh, rhyme with or potentially use. And you can go to your free write and pull um, some things. Now for those who are like, the advanced level of this is you can pull, you can start pulling in a phrase and start writing rhyming phrases. Uh, so it could be like a filler is a habit and you can rhyme with, um, you know, that whole phrase if you want. Uh, the beginning level of this is just pulling single words. So, um, one word I'm going to use is going to be fillers. I think I'll also do something with habits. And then let me, I want to show something for the advanced folks out there. Let me see. All right. And so I'm going to try this one here. Craving dope, <laughs> which is actually interesting on its own, right? Putting it together. And let me see, I'm gonna pull another one. Actually, I won't pull another one from the free write because I just want to give you this example of that. You can just pull a word that's related to it, which um, let's go with. Uh, Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Well, I, am, I think I am going to pull one from there. But if you had another idea that just popped in your head, that's like, oh, yeah, this is related. And I want to see if I can think of words that rhyme with that. So, again, let's do um, another five minutes. And your goal is just to fill in, you know, as many rhymes as you can for each of these four. Um, you can also expand beyond these four. But I think this is a good place to start. And if you need a target number, you know, four by four, right? Try to try to get at least uh, four rhymes for each column. So that way you have 16 words that you can use and potentially you have all the words you might use in your verse. All right, so let's get to it, five minutes. And I'm doing it with you. And again, for folks who are more advanced in this, this is where you would start trying to push out of perfect rhymes and go into slant rhyme uh, territory. If those are just beginning, just go with whatever comes to mind. And if you get stuck, you know, try to generate as many as you can on your own, but if you get stuck, and then that's when you can break into the rhyming dictionary. But making the effort first, first is what primes your brain to be able to start thinking and rhyme. the slant rhymes here. Right now moving on to habits. I also like to do when I'm doing multi-syllable rhyming is, you know, lab hits is not a word by itself, but using like two word phrases for two syllables. I think adages with two Ds, maybe? I might have spelled that one wrong. <laughs> now, two more minutes. All right, here we go. Craving dope. Raising bros.
Raisin Bros. That's just funny. The California Raisin Bros. Right, about 30 more seconds. I don't know if I'll get to the freestyle one, but that's okay. I'll jump to it. Fine. Um, slant rhymes all day. So hopefully you got your list of rhymes together. And the next step, let me get back to uh, this here. All right, so then select the most interesting rhymes uh, for you and you just circle them. And it can be, you know, I think a good habit is just if you're if you did it like this where you have the four, uh, I would say try to get like a pair uh, from each. Try to get something from each uh, column. Um, so I like this one was interesting. Uh, maybe you could challenge yourself and be like, oh, I want to see how if I can just use all of them. <laughs> But you gotta find a place to start. That one was interesting. And you can always include your keywords as well. So just really any word that, again, was interesting to you, caught your attention. I like this Craven Dope. Um, Prying Pope is interesting. Nope. <laughs> and this whole thing, Raisin Bros, it's interesting as well. Uh, and freestyle. Reach file is my interesting one from that one. Okay. So you have some rhymes that you uh, have selected. keep it so yeah that, that's the one that's a little just a quick step I think you know and again you just you just select anything that captures your attention you're not really thinking about how you're going to use them just yet all right and then the next part of this is just your writing lines that end with the rhyme words all right um, you can use your underlined phrases from your free write, because again, that those phrases would be like the message that you want to communicate that because it caught your attention. Um, you can also create new ones. Now that your brain is going, you have rhymes, you have messages, you have a topic, right? Ideas should be starting to, you know, come. Your, your brain is warmed up. And then I'd just say write the lines in pairs. So you know, don't think of it like you have to like have it all like, you know, write four, all your four bars all at once. Like just take it a line at a time, go and rhyme in couplets. Um, and you can pick from, uh, uh, you know, each, each one. And so we're writing our, our basic in rhyme verse. Uh, so what we're focusing on is really just having a last word rhyme. Um, for those of you, again, who have done rap writing, this is where you can, you know, start doing some internal rhyme, get some assonance going and, you know, rhyme a whole bar, each bar if you want to, uh, do that rock him approach. Um, but you can see how like the basic, right, the beginner then feeds into um, the higher levels of the, uh, the advanced of uh, rap writing. So let's, uh, this is kind of, kind of it. Uh, I guess it's not kind of it, but this is the part where we're now going from the prose thinking about here's what I want to say, just saying it to the um, rhymes like, OK, here are the rhyming words that are they're interesting to me. And now we're going to bring those things together to uh, make uh, make some lines. So 
Um, let's do five minutes with this one as well. And, you know, again, I'll be doing it with you. You'll kind of see what I come up with. Let me just get the uh, new screen ready. And then I'm going to start just writing some lines that thinking about my um, uh, topic. Um, now, I'll say this too. You may write some lines that aren't actually on your topic, and that's okay. As long as you get lines written that end with rhyming words, that's the goal. So don't, don't feel like you have to be completely on topic. You just have to have something to say. All right, so let me see what I'm thinking about. <laughs> i write to this uh, hip hop. Hip hop Christmas, yo. And then if other rhymes come to you as you're writing this, um, go ahead and use those new rhymes. You don't, you don't have to be stuck to the rhyming list that you just created. An example there. Let's see if I can do another one real quick. All right, about 20 more seconds. I got a couple of examples to work with here.
All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. So hopefully you have a few couplets out there. Um, so I wrote, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I wrote, the pin triggers this habit with the craving of a lab hit so long working on my magic to change this life from the tragic. So that was one kind of like idea that all came um, in a sense of like, you can see that there's a central idea connected to that one. Um, then the next couplet, so that, you know, that's quatrain. So these are the four bars there. And then the next thing that I worked on was the idea of raising bros and said, life's been good, raising bros. Life as a father has been dope, right? The second one that I wrote here, like I was literally like, okay, when, so like I literally maybe two, three years ago, wrote four bars every day. And there's times when I was like, all right, I'm tired. I'm about to go to sleep and you write four bars. And it's just like, all right, let me, let me just get this out. And so my, uh, the, the things that I try to do when I'm just trying to get things out of my head is slim. Really, if it's just like, all right, let's just get the rhymes on paper, then let's just get the rhymes on paper. I'm not worried about internal rhymes. I'm not worried about, you know, if my language is not as concise and clear as I want it to be. I'm just trying to get it out of my head onto the paper because I know that uh, if there's something that I like in it and I can always come back to it and do the uh, revision, right? So the next part of this is, now let's say you did this longer than five minutes and you have like, you know, just multiple things written. Then you start combining your lines into a verse. So you have a decision to make, um, like looking at your verse. Maybe you've written a verse that is going to be around a central topic, right? And that is, um, what I like to call a focus verse, right? These are pretty much what your um, topic songs are about, right? Where you have a hook that's like, if it's a love song, you know, it's the verse is about love and relationships and all that stuff. Now, if it's a freestyle verse where like, there's no central topic, it's, it's a written verse, but it's a freestyle in the sense of there's no central topic, then you'll have different ideas being presented, you know, potentially every line, maybe every two bars or four bars or so. Um, so one set of couple, I could just talk about like, you know, how dope you are and you are in the mic. No one can talk about your personal problems. Another one can talk about, you know, how the girls like you now or how the guys like you now, right? It just, it just goes all over the place. Another one can talk about, you know, problems in the world. Like that's a freestyle verse. Like you're just going wh wherever, uh, the vibe and the words take you. And so you just make that decision. And then once you decide like, okay, this is going to be a, focus verse or freestyle verse, then you start combining and rearranging lines uh, around that uh, concept. Um, in my example, I pretty much wrote two ideas, like these would be focus verses. And generally if, I ever, if I'm writing something, um, it tends to be more towards the focused verse side because if I wanna write a freestyle verse, I could just freestyle the verse. But that's a different conversation. Um, so yeah, so this first one, I'm really writing about the habit of, you know, writing um, and, and really just making music, right? And, you know, there's other ideas that come up with it, but you can see that it's still connected to, that was the spark, is the habit of writing and like why I have the habit and, you know, the emotions that come up um, uh, from that. So hopefully that makes sense. So you start combining them into a verse. And then the last step is just to edit. So here's the uh, kind of the secret sauce, this, the formula. Um, essentially it's eight to 12 syllables per line. And this is uh, plus or minus two syllables in a sense of like, if you write your first line and it's eight syllables, and then your next line is 12 syllables, then without knowing it, your rhythm is going to change drastically. And if you, again, if you've already done rap writing and rapping, you know how to adjust. I think that's what freestyling is also good for is like your ability to switch um, your cadences and switch your rhythm flows. But for those beginning, beginning and going from rap writing to rapping, if you notice that like 
one line that you say it needs to be a whole bar, but you finish too soon, you're already in the second line, it's probably a syllable issue, meaning that you probably don't have enough in there. And then if you've noticed that you write one line and it seems to not fit because it just keeps going over the count of four, then you've probably written too many syllables in there and you need to, you know, trim it back. Of course, there are exceptions. This is just kind of like, you know, the, the, the fundamental core. Um, and there's ways to like get away with less than eight syllables and more with 16 syllables. Really what it boils down to is your rate of speech, right? If I have more syllables in a line, I have to rap super fast. Like you have to, you have to, a lot of syllables per, per minutes, per second. If it's less syllables, you rap um, slow. So going back to my example, um, I know it's kind of hard to see. Uh, so let me, I'm gonna look at the uh, first line. So the pen triggers this habit. So that's seven. Let me switch it up here. So this line has seven in it. Uh, with the craving of a lab hit. This one is eight. So long working on my magic. That is eight. To change this life from the tragic. That is also eight. So the only issue I have right now is with the first line. It's still within my range of two syllables. And so all it really means is when I'm rapping it, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert a rest, some silence to make it fit, right? So if I'm gonna rap on this beat right now, taking the, uh, I'm gonna take the slow tempo, three, four, and one, two, three, four. This pin triggers this habit with the craving of a lab hit. So long working on my magic to change his life from the tragic, right? And to tell you the truth, because of this beat is trap, I could actually even do this. The, oh, hold on. I was gonna go to a different cadence on it. Let me see, two, three. The pin triggers this habit with the crazing of a lab. It's so working on my magic to change his life from the tragic. So that's a little bit, right? Now what you notice here, as I'm like, demonstrating is like once you've written it down and like have your syllables figured out you know the, the last place that the rhyme lives is actually in the uh delivery right so that's another writing process right i, I can say these uh eight line uh four lines here in a variety of different ways but as long as my syllable count is within a range then i i know that um it'll fit the bar um, so that, that's the, uh, the, the piece that, um, is kind of crucial that I think a lot of people eventually figure out because somebody says like, oh, that doesn't work. And you just like, I try it again and they'll, they'll give you feedback on it. But the, what's actually going on is generally either you're trying to say too many syllables or too little syllables and it doesn't fit. And so you go back and you edit the flow to make sure your syllables are right. And you go back and edit the flow to make sure you know, when you start imagining how you want to say it, that the words, it, it can actually come out. All right. And I believe that is the, the process right there. So um, let's do some reflection on what you have uh, just learned. So it really boils down to this. Let me um, just kind of recap it real quick. And I think maybe in the future I'll put the recap. All right. So at the core of this, right, the process that I just took you through, it's discover your topics. Step number one, discover your message. What are you going to say? And then discover your verse. Like that's that's the three the three steps that you're, you're performing. And then what I just walked you through was just a way to like Take each part of the, those three, discovering your topic and discovering uh, your message and then your verse, and to break it down to where you're making, you're not trying to make too many decisions all at once to get started, all right? So that's why you list your topics. Um, if you notice in, um, let, me, let me come back to it real quick. If you noticed here, 
when I did the listing of the topics. All right, so I circled habits, creativity, touring and travel. Um, and I did some free writing about habits. But if you notice, by the time I got to my verse here, um, I'm really talking, habits is just the starting point of this particular verse, uh, right? So, but I'm, I am talking about some other topics that I am, uh, you know, into, which would be like creativity, right? So I'm, I'm, you know, working on my magic. Like I'm trying to make a hit, right? I'm trying, I'm talking about music. I'm talking about that drive. I'm talking about hip hop, right? So my topic, even though I started with the idea of habits, what actually ended up came in, coming out in the moment still connects to a broader topic, even though that wasn't the starting point. And that's completely okay. Right. If you don't, um, I think sometimes people are like, oh, I'm going to write about this topic. And then it doesn't come out like if they're not writing about that topic, then they get a uh, they get stuck. Right. They're like, oh, I can't I can't, um, you know, I'm not writing. It's like, no, just write what's coming up. Right. Because if it's coming for you, then it's something you need to talk about. So we list the topics, you select the topic, you free write about the topic, discover what you want to say make a list of rhymes, uh, you select your rhymes, write, write the ending, write lines with it, basically write some end rhymes uh, with it, combine it into a verse, and then edit for flow, edit for flow. All right, so we went through that. Uh, so let's reflect real quick, um, three minutes on it. Like, what's your preference of verse? I'm curious. A focused, uh, a freestyle verse, right? Just whatever comes up in the moment and it's just a very subject or focus verse. Like you're going to talk about a particular topic, you know, tell a story. Um, so what's your preference there? And then how might you adapt these steps to your writing process? Again, this is an art. Every person's process is different. And what I hope to show you is just kind of like a very simplified, laid out process that you could go through. Uh, that then exposes like, oh, this is why I've had trouble in this area and I've had trouble in this area. So when you come across that block of like, okay, what to talk about or that block about rhyming words not fit, you have a, a, a move to make to be able to get ideas going again so you can you know, write as long as you need to, be confident in your skill to deliver uh, a completed verse on any topic that you choose to write about. So that's what that beginner's mind uh, allows, is you for it to go back to the beginning, see possibilities where as you think you are an expert, you start not seeing the possibilities for a verse and then get stuck. So how might you adapt these um, steps to your writing process? And then what preference of verse do you have, freestyle verse or focus verse? So let's do some three minutes on that. And, um, I'll check in with the chat, see, see what folks are talking about. And as we near the end of this thing, y'all. <laughs> 